we've got a naughty dog. He's being naughty. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at County Line treasures and antiques I think that's what it's called but this is a place that I had gone before that I said was my little bit of a honey hole but I'm gonna go with shopping today and I'm gonna show you the things that, the, that we can find I haven't been here in a couple months um, so we'll see what we can find today but let's go in our county line treasures we are in Ligoti Indiana Ooh. let's see oh this is a cool little wooden bear seven dollars I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you bear the little pig planter there's a cement squirrel it's a neat little piece there there's another little piggy there I like those squirrels they're nine dollars but they're concrete I I know that my squirrel people are yelling at me, but I think I want to ship them to you guys. Here we are, County Line Treasures. There are their hours. Oh, there's a grasshopper. No, I'm definitely scared of those things, by the way. It's a nice little strawberry milk glass. Oh, these are fun. These hand-painted roosters. Those are cute little noise makers there. The horses on them. So cool. I've always seen these in the big versions. This is the small version of the little red wear salt and pepper shaker and cream. Uh, look at all of these brooches. Look like the little dog there. Oh, look at the little. A little bear. And a platform shoe and some butterfly. These are fun. So they are three for twelve dollars. Five dollars each or three for twelve dollars. So we have to get us some. Here's a little angel. Turkey. I mean, I like the ones with animals on them. I really like those two so far. Let's see if we can find some others that we're gonna get. The bear. The race car is pretty neat. All right, well, I'll we'll keep looking. There's a little carved wooden piggy and an elephant. Oh my gosh, look at these little guys. Little stone mice. Oh my gosh, those are cute. There's an Avon frog, Michelle. Here, if you get this mug, it's the fartless chili makings. So it must you put some special stuff in there and it makes it fartless. Maybe there's no beans. Don't know. Oh, we've got a naughty dog. He's being naughty. He's peeing. This is, she's missing her partner here that she's angry at. She doesn't have her partner there. Oh, here's a Siamese cat. I don't know how old you are, though, buddy. There's another little kitty cat. This one's Napco Wear. Six dollars or six fifty. Um, a Florida tray for a dollar ninety-nine. A beverage tray. Here, jar of old buttons. Oh. Sexy senior citizen. It's a cute little rooster planter for $5. It's got a couple little boo boos up on this little gobbler thing, so. Yeah. A little mayonnaise bowl. Actually, this is a berry bowl. That goes with a mayonnaise bowl. Got a little glass apple. Got some little, oops, some little apple, apple friends. These little wooden apples, little nesting dolls. 
apples. It's a newer candle there. It's a new bird dish. Some Pyrex. A mammal. All right, so let's see what we've got over here. There's a little owl over here. <laughs> it's different. It's a cute little fella. All right, so it's a little stangle pottery star flower for $1.99. I like this for an air plant. I don't know why. I'm going to get that. You know, sometimes we just get what we like. Ooh, look at that jeweled canister. Or decanter. Wow. That's a good price, though, really. For that. Hmm. Oh, rooster. Um. Okay. What is this? Suntry wine. Pretty colors on those plates, though. I like that. Those are fun, too. These stackable mugs. They are $4.99. Oh, some of them have chips in them, though. There's a strawberry cookie jar. Garfield. Hi, buddy. What are you? Your ten fifty. You still have your tag on you and everything. Hi, buddy. I love Garfield. Oh, what do we got here? Well, we've got some squirrels. For eight fifty. Hmm. Some corns for seven fifty. Eggs for dollar ninety nine. I do not have their stoppers though. Wagons, the birds for seven fifty. Those prices, it has to be something that I like. Just cannot live without. And I'm thinking I can probably live without some of those. These are Nesco bears. Eight fifty. Mm, I think I can do that. Well, hello, friends, and welcome to the haul portion of today's video. It's a very small haul, but I think I got some pretty good stuff. The first thing I'm going to show you, and I think this was one of the first things that I found, was this little wooden bear. It's just a little baby bear cub. He kind of looks like he might be made out of walnut, perhaps. But I don't know. I just thought he was really cute. I mean, he needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It looks like he's got a little bit of fingernail polish on him. So I'm going to see if I can get him cleaned up and polished up. And he'll be just as good as new. He is hand carved out of wood. Just a really nice folk art piece. So I did pick him up. Another thing that I got was this. This is a McCoy Man in the Moon. I think that's what these are called. Typically, you they come in sets, but I just kind of really liked him. Sometimes they will come and the eyes will have a cold paint on them. That looks very haunting and very creepy. I myself just kind of like him all glazed up and fabulous like this. It is marked USA on the bottom. And as I always like to do with mugs, you can turn them into a little pot. You don't have to use them as a mug. You can use them to hold many different vessels, makeup brushes, Q-tips, sponges, air plants, you know, those sorts of things. But I just, I myself love things with the face on them. So I got him. All right, these next little things are cute little Homeco elephants. Now I know that Homeco kind of gets a bad rep because, you know, they were pretty massively produced and they're kind of everywhere. But there are still collectors that really do like these sweet little home co pieces. Their faces are adorable. I buy a lot of the bears, especially the holiday bears. Those tend to do pretty well for me. These guys here, I sold them a couple weeks ago and I found this little set too that will be available. And they are the little elephants. Now they are made out of bisque, which I don't like the feel of. But my goodness, look at these little babies. This one's probably my favorite little pose. Isn't he cute? And then there's this guy. Just three little baby elephants. I love all of the little folds and little, little ruffles on their little feet. 
They are made by Homeco, probably in the 90s, 80s, 90s, I'm gonna say. So I did pick up those three and I will sell those three fellas as a lot together. All right, I did also pick up this little stangle piece of pottery. This is the star flower pattern and it was made in Trenton, New Jersey. I just thought it was very earthy and fun. There it is, it is stangle and it is marked star flower there on the bottom. Really pretty, so on this side it has the beautiful star flower and then on this side the little bud. And again, I mean, this is a this is a little lot. This is a lot of an air plant, but you can put a little plant in here. Um, you can use it as a personal creamer. It's just a nice little accent piece that you can tuck in a little cubby or on some books with some other things. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just drawn to these really pretty pieces of pottery. So I did pick up this little star flower piece. All right, I also picked up a lovely piece of uranium glass. Ooh, that glows really nicely, even with this bright light on. This is a little cake plate. It's barely, it has just a little, little bitty of a little bitty of a pedestal on it. Itty bitty little pedestal. Um, not quite sure if this is Hazel Atlas or not. Don't know. Can't, don't quote me on that because I can't, I'm going to probably tell you wrong. But um, there is a few little surface scratches on here because this was used. And I highly recommend that you continue to use this. If you are buying this, don't just keep it in a cabinet use it it's safe to use it's not going to hurt you but my goodness it is a beautiful piece of green uranium glass and wouldn't a nice big cake look so nice served on here so i always recommend don't just shove these in a cabinet they were meant to be used use them and and amaze your guests that it glows or just have a nice, pretty green cake, cake dish out there. So use those if you have them. Another thing, this is a Redware cowl. Not a cowl, a cow. Um, it's a little sugar bowl. You can see his little back comes off, and that's where you keep his sugar. He is Redware. It is Japan. His little bells, which I don't normally see these with their little bells, but look. She's got her little dingo bells on there. You know, because a lot of cows wear bells. But the cold paint on here is nice. She's got this cute little blue bow on her tail. She might already be sold. I did tell a subscriber um, that I would let her know when I got some cool cow things in. So I'm going to send a picture of this to her and see if she will like it. You know who you are. Actually, you're watching this. So send me an email. Let me know if you want this. <laughs> and um, But very, very cute. Great condition for the Redware cow. Or now, uh, uh, we're not going to get into an animal encyclopedia jaunt, but she looks like she's got horns. Do cows have horns or just bulls have horns? Please let me know. I will forget. I, I think that we've actually had this discussion once before and I've forgotten since then, but it looks like those are horns. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What are your opinions? All right, I did get this little kitty cat here, trinket dish. Now this, well, let me show it to you first and then I'll talk about it. It is a hand painted little trinket dish, this little kitty cat. And on the bottom, you can see here, boop, it's two pieces because it's a trinket dish. On the bottom, it says the Palace of Versailles. So this is, it says for Elizabeth Arden. Made, exclu made in Japan exclusively for Elizabeth Arden. Now, I have sold little pomodors like this before. It's a little cat trinket dish. I got it for a really good price. So, I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. And I was like, ooh, the Palace of Versailles. Or Marsalis, if you don't know any better. I pretty much, I'm, I've, I've, I've probably called it Palace of Versailles myself. A joke not for real just as a kitten aside joke all right the next items I love these these are so cool they're canisters well let me get the lid off 
They are just these metal canisters. They've got the apples and oranges and dates, I wanna say. This one is orange and it has a plastic lid. And it says on the side here that it was, nope, this one doesn't say it. This one does. Oh, this one's my favorite one. It says here on the side that they're made by Procter & Gamble. Now, I am not sure if these were like a canister set, you know, or if it was just a promotional thing, like maybe coffee or sugar or something Procter & Gamble sold, came in these, and then when you bought that, uh, that product, you got to this really pretty canister. They're kind of coffee can size, but I just, and that you can stack them. I just love, mainly I love the color of this one with that blue and the yellow and the red. Very fun. So I did pick these up. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna sell them as a set or if I'm gonna sell them together. This one does have a little bit of scratches on the lid, but to keep like your drink packets in here, like if you put little drop-ins in your water bottles, that would be nice to keep in here, or your coffee or your creamer or your sugar packets or whatever you would like, but I just thought that they were fun. Really fun little pieces there. So I got those. And then I did get this thing. Now this has, it looks dirty. It's very, very dirty. But I see these things and I just can't resist to not buy them when I can get them for a cheap price. This one has, you're dirty. You're a dirty little kitty cat, but it's a dream pet. And I'm sending this to Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. Now it's dirty, dirty girl, but Michelle will love him or her. Well, we don't really know what you are for a boy or a girl. It doesn't really matter, but, oh, but you know what I just noticed? <gasps> I just noticed this. This is hilarious. Now, my girl Michelle loves cherries, things with cherries on them. And it's got cherries on its shirt. Well, you're just perfect for Michelle. But I love its little whiskers, but you know, it's a little dirty, but Michelle will still love it. All right, I also got this. Just, I just liked it. I don't know. It's a little plastic. Um, it's plastic. It's not loose side, but it says it's made by Gold Tone product USA but it kind of has that oh swirly what's the word I'm looking for um well we'll see if we can figure it out and put it on the screen it has a swirly look to it and you put your little tissue little purse pack of a tissue box or tissue pack in here or in this it's got this little gold top, but look at the girl. Oh, she's a ginger. She's a ginger. I really liked it. I got it for a good price. I just thought it was fun. You can put it on your vanity. You could keep Q-tips in it or your own little personal um, Q-tips or uh, tissues to like blot your lipstick and stuff or your vanity. I just thought that it was fun. All right, I like these tins. These are what I call like grandma's sewing notions tins because my grandmother had tons of these that she kept buttons in and like sewing odds and ends this one if i can get it open sometimes i will say a forewarning when you open up these tins be very careful because well they can smell they can smell sometimes so just you know be wary of that but this is really pretty with the flowers on it. Now these look really nice. Now you can use them to put things in, but you could also use them as a background for a display or even as a riser. It kind of has an ombre silver and blue hue to it, but I like the pink flowers and the yellow flowers on that. And then the last thing that I got is a pond. Now this is made by uh, Metlocks. It is a white, or cream colored matte pottery made by Metlocks. Uh, there we go. I don't know if flamingos set in this or a flower frog of some sort or what creature or thing 
set in this pond. And that's what these cons these are considered ponds. A lot of times you'll see flamingos standing up in them and they're they're like in a set. So um it's a console dish basically and more more or less. So when I find these for a really good price, um I know that there's some probably someone out there that's looking for this particular pond. So, and it is made by Metlox, which is a pretty collectible uh, item. There is a little bit, there's no chips or cracks on this at all, but there is a little bit of rubbing on the inside there, sort of like um, spoon marks on a mug. But, so I got that. I did, and I did ask Jeffrey. He does not want this one. He's looking for a different one. So I did ask him and he didn't want it. But that's what I got. That's what I got for my little hidey hole. If you were ever in the Lagodi area, which is down in Southern Indiana, make sure that you go and check them out. It's a fun little place. I've got lots of cool things at a really good price. So make sure that you do go in there, support a small business and show them a little bit of love and look at their cool things. If there's anything that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it is still available. I'm just looking up here and noticing that my TV keeps flashing on. If that has annoyed you, I am so sorry. You probably will, I probably will get told that it annoyed them in the comments, but I'm sorry. This is me telling you I'm sorry. I didn't turn the TV off. It happens sometimes. Anyway, I, what I will say is thank you so, so much for watching, going on a little shopping trip with me and watching the haul. I really do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Hitting the little bell notification will let you know when I am live. I do go live every Wednesday for my weekly live sale and occasionally I will go live every once in a while and you just never know. So make sure that you do hit the bell notification. And as always, don't forget to, again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.